Good afternoon. My name is Fatima Mohammed, founder of Apiary at the Park, a cultural co-working space for creative black and brown entrepreneurs, freelancers, and small businesses. Apiary at the Park was created with you in mind. After running for an office here in the Hyde Park area, I heard the needs echoing time and time again from all of the residents. Why isn't there a coffee house in our neighborhood? Why aren't there any resources for the entrepreneurs that are in our neighborhoods? Why do we have to go all on the other side of town to get the services that we so desperately desire? So after running for office, I found this building that has sat in disrepair for over 20 years. This building, along with all of the other buildings that echo the north side of St. Louis, have sat in disrepair and disparity for years and years and years. Not asking for anything different, just equal services for our neighborhoods. And so with that in mind, I put together all of the lack and the thought and, and yearnings that I'd heard from community members here in Hyde Park and beyond and decided this would be an ideal space that could encompass all of those needs. We could focus on the entrepreneurs by having a co-working space that will assist culinary artisans, that will help with those freelancers, small startup businesses, all in a centrally located space. There will be access to co-living, Yes, it's available for those co-workers, but it's also going to be beautiful residence for anybody that wants to live in the historic Hyde Park. And beyond that, there will be a cafe and marketplace that will host organically grown local food here so that there are fresh foods, produce, and of course those alternate meals that will be available here at Hyde Park. We are renting space on a constant basis, even though we have not even started the renovation on the interior, we have pre-leased space. Why is that? Because there is a need. And it has been a, uh, attracting people beyond Hyde Park. We're getting people that are interested on the south side of Del Mar, which is a great opportunity to help bridge those gaps. COVID-19, uh, Corona, uh, I shouldn't say during, as we're experiencing that, that was a pivotal moment for me and the apiary. It was almost like it was perfect timing, the quiet storm for what we were developing. And that is because there was an opportunity for us to look back and revamp. Because my slogan has always been apiary, a place to work alone together. So we had the opportunity to go back with our interior designers and say, we want to make sure that we are always COVID ready by providing ample space, redesigning our cafe so that there are two people that sit at each table so that it's never over more than 25 occupants at a time. It was just momentous. What slowed us down a little bit was the fact that we do a lot of pop-up markets because a lot of spaces have been shut down. But what that costs us now to do is to really get engaged in Zoom. And because of Zoom and actually connecting with more people than we ever probably would have done in the pop-up, they really got to hear our story. They got to see pictures and experiences that I shared, pictures of how the space is going to look it really heightened their interest. So that was a great catapult for us. The other thing that was monumental for a period of park with the COVID was the fact that it affected everyone. It wasn't just the North side, it wasn't just the South side, it wasn't just black and brown creatives. It cost us all to rethink and regroup because entrepreneurs are problem solvers. 
as a serial social entrepreneur, that's what I label myself, that's what I do. I go in, find a problem, and I work at a resolution. So it caused me to rethink how the layout is, rethink how the apartments are going to be. Because with COVID now, that's also something that is very thought provoking. So we had the opportunity to do all of that before a, a new wall came up in the building. So that saved us a lot of money and it helped us to prepare and receive our customers and our renters as they're coming into the space. So we will be COVID ready. Perfect. Awesome. Close to the wall again. Yep. This is the uh, culinary kitchen. This is where this space will be. I purchased this building. It's set for eight months before I even come in. I had no idea what I was going to do. I just knew the community needed this space. I knew I had to do something. And so I was always reflecting on bees. I love how the bees have a community within the hive. Everybody has a job. Everybody's expected to do it. Everybody works together collectively and they build community. So I told my husband, I don't know what that's gonna be, but Apiary keeps coming to me. I really need to register that name before somebody else does. And of course, Apiary by itself had been taken, but I thought, okay, we're less than 500 feet from the park. Let's make it Apiary at the park. Great name for a cafe. Had never been in the building, registered the business, we finally were able to get in and to really assess with the structural engineer everything that we were going to do. We made it up to the third floor and to my surprise, this is what I found on the wall. Oh wow, some activity. Which was my affirmation that this is what it should be. Back in the 1800s, this building used to be the post office for the Hyde Park area. The co-working space in that adjacent building there used to be the rooming house for the immigrants who lived there while they built all of the homes here in Hyde Park. So in essence, this was a co-working space before that term was what it is today. So just reinventing the wheel, bringing it forward, making a beautiful community all over again. So just let us know how we can find you on social media and on the web. If you're looking for Apiary at the Park, you can find us at our website at www.apiary at the park. That's A-P-I-A-R-Y-A-T-T-H-E-P-A-R-K.com. You can also email me at Fatima at Apiary at the Park, or you can find us on Facebook, and you can also find us on Instagram, all the same title, Apiary at the Park. Find us, we'd love to have you in our community.